Howdy viewer, this is your host Spanky, and today I got a very special versus match. It's gonna be Costco versus Sam's Club. Parents watching this video, kids watching this video. Now, at the end of this video, you're gonna be able to go and say, Mommy, Mommy, I want the Costco, or I want the Sam's Club. Premium collection, big, huge, lots of cards, Pokemon set, whatever you wanna call them. This is the only one with an actual name. This is already starting off. I just. Uh, I like the Sam's Club one so much better. I'm going to be biased this whole entire video. We got Lucario and Tyranitar, which was awesome. And then we just got basically <sighs> Scarlet and Violet base set. And then these have Silver Tempest. I forget what's in them. I opened them up with my son quite a while back. And my memory, I'm getting older. It's, it's anyways, I'm going to stop rambling. So I found a few things so I could, you know, say, you know, this versus this. And this is better because of this. I, I got a few in my head. I might make it up as I go. I don't know. But then in this video, someone's going to be a winner. There's going to be one supreme winner, either Costco or Sam's Club. My brain fart. So round one is going to be a competition and presentation, and I'm not going to bury the lead. It's the Sam's Club. Sam Club's wins by a mile. It's even got like its own special little heavy hitters premium collection. It just feels like they put a little bit more into it. They chose really cool Pokemon and it's got its own name and its own feel, its own packaging. Like I can only get this at Sam's Club. That's what this one feels like. It looks cool. Cool Pokemon. Now this is just like, hey, these weren't looted yet and these haven't been stolen in some massive thief ring. Let's just put them all together and just, yeah. You know, I'll give it a little bit of credit in that you kind of can choose somewhat in between which kind of Pokeball you want. You don't want a Quick Ball or you want something else. You don't want a Pokeball, you want an Ultra Ball. Get a little bit of choice there, but it's just kind of ugly. It's just like, it's just made to be stacked and sit on shelves. And you do get the choice between a Scarlet or Violet ETB, but I mean, it just, this is just a clear winner. I mean, anyone with eyes, sorry if you don't. Round three is gonna be a little bit more tougher. We're gonna do with the price to value ratio. So if you go on to Sam's Club, you're going to find the Pokemon Heavy Hitters Premium Collection Box for $40. You're going to get four foil cars and an oversized foil card featuring Lucario, 14 Pokemon TCG Booster Packs, four large metallic coins, and a code card. Hmm, that's exciting. And in the other corner, you're going to get the Scarlet and Violet Elite Trainer Box with two Pokeballs. The Elite Trainer Box is going to have nine TCG Scarlet and Violet Booster Packs, one full art promo card, which is kind of a cool promo card. 45 energy cards, no one cares about that. Expansion, blah, nine dice counter. You know, just kind of fun stuff to play the game, but nothing else too exciting in there. And then the Pokeball is going to have three Pokemon TCG Boost Packs and ones. TC <laughs> three Pokemon TCG, TCG, oh, that's a tongue twister. Wow. Three Pokemon TCG Booster Packs. But I still said it wrong. And <laughs> one Pokemon toy. Coin. Oh my god. This is so bad. Overall, you're going to get 15 packs from Costco and only 14 from Sam's Club. But selection is so much better than the Sam's Club. And I'm telling you right now, these two puppies right here, everyone loves Evolving Skies. And those are big. We're going to get a bigger selection. I think you get Silver Tempest in the Pokeballs. We're going to get Lost Origin in this one, Chilling Rain, and a couple others. You also get more promos in this one and an oversized card in Sam's Club. But I do like the promo that the ETB comes with a little bit more. And then you get two coins with this. But this one, you get four. And these are pretty cool coins. So again, I think... And then... You get 15 packs with the other one, but this one get 14, but it is also $10 cheaper to get this, and a pack does not cost $10. So, the price to value ratio, another win, another round one by Sam's Club. Round three, or is it four? I don't know, I forget. Let's compare the price it costs just to enter into these clubs. So we'll start with Sam's Club. Sam's Club is gonna cost $50 a year for a club member, and plus it's gonna be $110 a year. So we're just counting what it costs just to get through the doors, not to ship it or anything. And then we'll go to Costco. Costco is gonna cost 60 a year and $120 for their executive membership. Wow, so again, it looks, Sam Club wins again by $10 in both clubs. Another win, ding, 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 for Sam's Club. 
Now, if you stuck around for this long, you're the true champion in this competition. We're going to go for the final round. Which one has the best poles? So in this corner, or side, we got the heavy hitters box from Sam's Club. And in this corner, we got the, the Costco side. Yeah, the right versus left. So let's do, oof, I kind of want to say, I'll, I'll, Sam's Club's already a clear winner. If you're Costco at this point, you're like, this is all or nothing, buddy. But if you're Sam's Club, you're like, I've already got this in the bag. I'm taking a knee until time runs out. All right. So, you've already got your code cards. I need to adjust my desk. Oh, God, this is bad. No, I need to adjust the camera. All right, I noticed I was smacking the camera every five seconds, so I had to adjust that. We're just going to go straight through these. I don't know if there is a pack secret or what do you call it? Secret. Oh, Ooh, card for EX. Ooh, I'm telling you right now, Sam's Club side is starting off really, really, really strong. Pack number two from the Costco side. Already with a strong start. I already know there's gonna be some people like you paused the video. You probably rigged it. Oh, hound door, but I didn't because I honestly don't care. This has nothing to do with. See, I'm just gonna skip cards. There's nothing to really do with what holes I get as much as it has to do with helping parents decide what are the best things to buy this holiday season. At the end of the day, it's just a video for fun. Uh, I appreciate you all so much for being here. I just pulled two. Okay, I didn't pull anything too exciting, at least by accident. And this is just, this part right here, this is just the fun part to watch me pull some cool cards and I'm going as quick as I can. These are some nice and then we get dead there. So Costco started off strong, but it is not finishing strong. And we're just going straight for the ATB packs right now. I have not hit the Pokeball side yet. Or Pokeball half. And we're just gonna do straight up Scarlet and Violet base set. And we'll see we'll go from there. Energy switch a room. That's kind of just an interesting Pokemon. I, I, I've almost finished the game I'm playing right now on the switch And then I will play the new Scarlet and Violet Man Costco, it's not looking good It's not looking good Just like everything else in this competition you just Started off strong and you just fell right off I mean, wow. Are you really going to let Sam's Club embarrass you this much, Costco? Hmm? You going to let that happen? <laughs> They're going to let it happen. They're going to give him the cleft lock to let it happen. Just give him the keys. To be real, though, this does kind of suck for me. Because, I, I mean, at the end of the day, I'm keeping these cards, so I... I do want Costco to do really well. I don't know why I get to like my third pull and I pull two at a time. Come on. See, this is not cool. I, I I do at this point. I don't care who wins. I want them both to win. I hope they both equally get amazing packs. Right now. We're struggling. I don't like this. Because if we don't start getting some good packs, then I'm the loser at the end of the day. Spending Woo! Ooh, ooh, 90 bucks on Pokemon cards. Not a double hit. And not getting anything good. Definitely probably not going to get my money back. Especially since it's a Scarlet and Violet base set. But we got two more packs. Left in the ETB. And we will be done with that. Got two hits so far. Kind of do like that spider Pokemon. It's kind of creepy. I'm not going to pull two at a time this time. There we go. We are improving as we go. Come on, come on. Woo! Magnezone EX. And that is pretty sweet. All right. Three hits so far out of the ETB. Um, let's go. Last pack.
like I said, at this point, I want them both to do really well. I hope that this is a really close competition, this last round. I hope they fight it to the bitter end and that they both just pull out haymakers for me. Come on, y'all. Come on. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> Wiglet, I don't know what you are. Are you a water Pokemon? Yeah, I guess so. And then a Scribbledger. That is a cool one. All right, baby. Only 50 HP. That's okay. I forgive you for being weak. But you add four hits to the Costco spot to finish that ETB. All right, starting on the Pokeballs. And with the Pokeballs, before I forget, I got two Lost Origin, which is pretty cool and uh, a Silver Tempest, and then both of them come with two Lost Origins and a Silver Tempest. Might as well add that before I forget, in case you all were wondering. But, I think there is a pack trick to these. That's what, the, that's what I was thinking earlier, pack trick. Why couldn't I think of that earlier? But I'm not going to do the pack trick. I'm just going to go straight through. And I got jacked. Jack, nothing in that. Home Costco. We got another. Ooh, I think these ones can have oof, like the Giratina. Is that that's the big one in these, if I'm correct? Asculin, Jinx, Bronze or Ducklet. Did I? Oh, they only come with one reverse. That's psyching me out. That's kind of psyching me out there. Scarlet and Violet has two reverses. I got the one. And plus, I'm not doing anything. Wow. Okay, Silver Tempest does not want to be open. All right, all right, come on. Esper, oh, he's like a little, is that Sackboy from uh, PlayStation? What was the name of the game? I'm pretty sure it wasn't named Sackboy, but that's what it kind of reminds me of. Arcane Reverse, which is cool, and a, wow, nothing. A big nothing burger is what I got. Here's your good gird. So that first little Pokeball was a complete Wait, let's do the Silver Tempest and do the Lost Origins because I really, I'm really hoping I pull that Giratina. I really do. Banfi, Litten, Rufflet, Fennekin. Come on, come on. Wow, this is awful. This hurts my soul. Dang, Costco. If you're not going to give better bundles, at least you give better hits. Is that so much to ask for? Hmm? Alright. I think it's three. I'm going to do the pack trick because I need something and I need to change something. So, something's got to change, right? It's three from the back. We'll find out here in a second. That was bad. Poliwag. Come on, Aldish. My champ. And wow. 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 I'm like Owen Wilson over here. Wow. All right. Last pack. Hurts my soul. Come on. I don't know if these code cards mean anything. I just blew it. They might mean something. Come on. Come on. I need something. This is just pathetic. 15 packs. Like five hits. That's all I've gotten. Porygon Dose, Porygon 1, Inkai. Come on. Ah. Oh my god. That is bad. I am so bad at opening Pokemon cards. Alright, so this is what you gotta deal with, Sam's Club. We got two pretty good hits right here, and then two I hits, these EXs. This is probably, you know, these are probably the best ones right there. But not much. Four hits out of 15 packs, which is straight up pathetic. And I'm going to save those Evolving Skies for last. I'm going to save them for last, y'all. And then I think these code cards... Can, oof, I think I messed it up. I think these code cards can give it away. I guess I'm going to start doing pack tricks. I don't know why. Maybe I won't. I'm gonna this is going to be the last one to do pack tricks with. Let's just get through this video. Appreciate y'all watching. I hope it was a fun video. It just kind of came to mind. That Pikachu reverse. Dark cry. All right. So, 
Sam's Club side not starting off strong like the Costco side did, but that's okay because we got plenty of time. I'm, I'm not doing pack tricks. No pack tricks. Sorry. I feel like if I take out that code card, if it's a green code card, then it's just automatically going to tell me that I got absolutely nothing. Woo! Okay. Okay. I'll take it. I think that's a hit, right? It's a pretty cool one. Yeah, it's got to be a hit. Code card. Let me sleeve this little puppy up. All right. Not falling too far behind there, Sam Club. We'll save the evolving yeah, we'll save the evolving guys for last. And I'm just grabbing them. There's no order to this side at all. I'm just going with it. This already looks like like I'm opening the same pack over. Bling clang, bling clang, lame. What a lame Pokemon. Oh my gosh. Who invited a cling clang to the party? Sheesh. Get out of here. No one loves you. No one likes you. Not nice. Ooh. Come on, Volpix. Gosh, I keep on. Come on, come on. Man. This is not a good day. So I watched the video where PokerRev did a small box versus medium box versus a large box from the Sam's Club. This one that I'm opening right now was the large box, and he got the small box did better than everything, so. You can buy 15 packs and 14 packs. Oh my, wow, what did I just do? Woo! Ooh, okay. And get absolutely dusted, but this one, not. There we go. Two hits. Took a while, but we are there. We are there. It's a Moltres. Moltres. That looks like, like an evil Moltres. He does not look nice. Chilling rain. Chilling rain. I also think these sets are known for not having the greatest hit. Man, I keep doing that. That is not on purpose. Lapras, I think, what did I just do? Was Lapras, is this the rare? What is wrong with you? Who in their right mind made this the rare? Oh my gosh, I'm, dis I'm not mad, I'm disgusted. That is gross. Who did that? Who is the sadistic serial killer that was like, let's make the fluffle the rare? You could at least have the decency to make it a hollow. Oh my gosh. Just, I did it again. Woo! Ooh, Radiant, Gardevoir, Gra Gra Gardevoir, and Gengar. Gengar is cool, so I won't hate. I like Gengar, but it's not, it's not cool at the same time. Totally not cool. I don't think I'll count those as hits. The Radiant Gardevoir. Definitely not the Gengar. It's just a regular hollow. But I mean, maybe the Radiant Gardevoir is a hit. I don't know. I'm just... I need anything at this point. <laughs> it's like anything to make me feel better about how bad this opening is going so far. Golly. This is awful. This is disgusting. Oh, man, this is not good. This is why I hate buying Pokemon. Sometimes I really do just hate buying Pokemon products because this is so defeating. I mean, I have almost, this is almost 30 packs. Woo! And we got a Red Relect, the max, and that's it. This is, and we've gotten, out of, count both sets together. This would make hit number nine. If you count the... Nope, even if you count the Radiant Gatorbor, this is still hit number nine. If you don't count it, then that's only hit number eight. There is still time to turn this around because we still got the two Evolving Skies set that everyone loves. We turn this all around. And you know what? Let's not be Debbie Downers. This is fun, right? I hope you all are having fun. It's always fun opening Pokemon cards. I'm going to try to pull one at a time this time. Almost didn't do it. Swirlix. Ugh, yeah, I've seen you evolved. It's not great. And Slow King. That is a cool looking Pokemon. But still lame at the end of the day. It's definitely not a hit. Whew, man. My bag's starting to hurt. I don't think it's because of the way I'm sitting. I think it's because I'm explaining to my wife who watches all my videos. 
why I spent so much on Pokemon cards when the kids are crying and hungry. Ducklet, the suspense. Woo! Kieran B, okay. Okay. We'll take it. We'll take it. Down to three packs. Burn. Some hits. Let's keep these hits up. What's up, my chat, my strong man? Look at this dude just flexing on him. Flexing straight. Let's do it. Come on, my chop. Lead us to victory. Steal. What's so rough about him, Ann? Yeah, okay. No one invited you, Hyperion. You weren't even a, you're not even a needed evolution. You're just there. You just stopped it right on. Come on, Evolving Tag. We got two Umbrian packs. So we're gonna get two. We're gonna get we're gonna pull two Moonbrions out of both packs. Oh, I just punched, ow, my hand. I just punched my light sitting over there. That is cool. Yes. <laughs> yes. Man, Sam's Club bringing in the friggin' victory with less packs and the Espeon B Max. What's up? It's so sexy. So sexy. Oh, man. These are both going to be big hits. Oh, man. That's a cool hit. Freak, yeah. Mm, that feels good. Yes. Come on. Ooh, that one's hard to open. That means there's something good inside. I didn't want to get out. That's exactly what that means. Fla baby. What's up, boo? What's up? What you got back here for me, huh? What you got back there, Swell Blue Boo? And Lelio. And Chinchu, whatever your name is. And you. And. And. Not cool. Not cool. Not a big hit to end it, but that's okay. All right. So I've thought of more ways to think of Costco to finally, possibly, maybe catch up to Sam's Club. In the left corner, we got one, two, three, four, five, six hits from the Sam's Club. And they had only 14 packs, mind you. And in the right corner, or right side, we had Costco with only four hits. This is a pretty neat illustration rare. Is that what that is? Is this an illustration? I don't know. They're either full arts. Either way. <laughs> Sam's Club with another round. So the very final last round is going to be total overall value. Is there going to be a big hit valued worth more than this? I seriously doubt it because I have a good feeling this SB on B Max is going to be worth more than anything from Costco. So... I'm going to uh, just show you all these and then be silent. Well, I can't be silent because I can never shut up. And on screen, as these pass through, there will be two totals right here and right there that will show the max value of each. And with the special power of editing and me doing things behind the scenes, value, value. How much? And the drum roll is, they're the winner, and I haven't even looked up the values yet. I just know that the VMAX as beyond is worth more than most of these, and that's it. <laughs> so that's enough of theatrics and the funny voices. At the end of the day, I just wanted to maybe, hopefully, inform kids and parents and loved ones this holiday season what is going to be the best value for your buck. Now, I can't promise anything that you're going to get good pulls in either of these sets. That's just completely random. I can tell you that overall, you are more than likely going to pull better value cards out of the Costco just because of the variety in those evolving, scar evolving skies. Those cards are just valued more as singles overall and as packs than the Scarlet and Violet that you're going to get from Costco. So that's just a little, little thing to add there. It doesn't matter who wants in the day. I think kids and you know people who love Pokemon are going to be happy to get either. But if you're going to buy something, I, I definitely would go to the Sam's Club and check out the heavy hitters box because it's just it wasn't even close uh, value even the polls were better but that like i said that's not guaranteed but value cost of value and everything like that the amount of packs you get um just the special promos sam's club is just a clear winner it's just an utter defeat it's like mike tyson punching a baby defeat 
and the Costco one just kind of boring. And it even costs more, which is kind of, you know, pathetic. Costco, you need to better. Anyways, I hope you all have a Merry Christmas and a Happy Holidays. And please watch my next videos. Like, comment, subscribe, all of that. Be safe. Peace.